Hello everyone, and welcome back to my complete stock career run-through of Kerbal Space Program 0.23, and we are back with Derlin Kerman on his way to Drez. I don't know if I'm going to be able to complete the Drez mission this time, in this episode. Uh, it'll depend on how long it takes, obviously. I have limited resources for each time. But here we are with our plot to Drez, and let's just uh, get him there. I don't think there's any reason to delay. And maybe we'll get him back to Kerbin in this episode after all, so I'll certainly try for that. Okay, here we are in our Drez encounter. For a bit there, it was giving me much less than this. Uh, even now, it's a fairly short encounter. It'll be only 12 hours while we're in uh, Drez's sphere of influence. But it was like uh, not showing me my periapsis and doing all sorts of funny things. I guess it's tough to decide whether you're really going to be in Drez, Drez's sphere of influence or not, because it's so small. We're going to end up in a polar orbit, it looks like, and I'm not going to try and fix that. I'm, I'm going to trust that Drez's rotation is not so fast that getting into an equatorial orbit is going to be a huge benefit. You can see we've got a lot of burning to do in order to get into orbit because Drez doesn't have an atmosphere. If it was an atmospheric planet, we would be able to use the atmosphere to do the slowing down for us, but here we have no choice. We have to use our own fuel to get uh, into orbit around Drez. Not a particularly inspired orbit either. Uh, yeah, actually changing it much doesn't really help. Alright, so 1,300 it is. I haven't actually calculated how much delta V I have on here, but these are nuclear stages, so hopefully the answer is a lot. Right? Okay, uh, one thing I need to do is make sure I've actually got fuel up here. Aha, see? It uh, took fuel from my lander stage, and that is not a good thing. Uh, what you want to do is actually disable crossfeed here to make sure that it doesn't deplete the lander stage. And maybe I'll use this tank. Another thing I forgot was electric... I mean, I've got electric charge, but I don't have any means of recharging it. At least I don't think so. So that's a little bit of a no-no. I really... Well, why didn't must have clicked away somehow. I don't think I clicked on anything. Okay, there we go. All good. Yeah. So, I don't really have a way of replenishing electric charge here. Should have put some solar panels on, but didn't. Strange. Anyway, uh... I know we're not going to get a temperature reading, right? And that definitely means we're not going to get a barometer reading. Yeah. One thing we can do is we are high over Drez, so let's observe Mystery Goo. Mystery Goo feels right at home here, 70 science, keep data. And we can EVA Derlin. Of course, that means my maneuver node is gone, right? It doesn't matter. Uh, at the periapsis, I'll just burn retrograde. 56 signs for that. Okay, uh, I think that's it. We'll wait for everything else once we get closer to Drez. So, time warp to periapsis. Can't even see Drez here. Oh, there it is. That's that, it's that little speck here. Can barely see it moving there. It's a miracle the astronomers on Kerbin could find it. Okay. It's a pretty long burn.
You know what I should have done was actually bent my orbit closer into Drez. Once, I, while I was still far away, I should have bent my orbit towards Drez a bit. I don't think it would have been very useful or not, but I should have at least tried it out. Uh, you can do that with a radial burn towards Drez from far out, and it's better to do it from far out than close in. Uh, that might have saved us a bit of Delta V, not much though, because Drez's gravity is so low. I don't know if it would have been a big deal. That's really only useful if, uh, with the planets with an atmosphere, to bend it towards the planet so that you can get into the atmosphere. But we're pretty much burning away uh, all of our residual orbital speed here. So. so yeah, that's basically what's happening. Though, we, we seem to be okay on fuel. Okay, here we go. About to get into orbit. Ah, uh, there we go. I'm gonna... well... I guess I'll make it tight after all. Gotta keep it at 120 kilometers. Now... I guess we'll have to get pretty close. We're we're going about twenty two miles an hour right now. <laughs> ah. When you think of space you think really fast, but fast relative to what exactly? I am not going very fast relative to Drez yet. Now hitting about highway speeds. Still have trouble seeing Drez. There it is. So actually, let's see how much an inclination change would be. It should be done right around the equator, if that's what you want. Uh, 300. I don't think that's worth it. I don't think uh, Drez's rotation is going to be... Well, I mean, well, that will bring me uh, a tighter orbit, though. Let's see. Uh, what if I just brought my orbit in? How much would that cost me? It'll cost me about 100. I don't think Drez's rotation is worth uh, 250 odd. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't think so. Though I don't like how this is sort of situated over the terminate uh, the line between the sunny side and the dark side. It's not exactly very convenient. So maybe I will try this way. Which way should I be going? Mm, I think this way around is right. And then I'll complete it like that. So you pull the, if you wanted to change your inclination like this, you would pull the inclination one for 45 degrees and then pull the retrograde one for the rest. And then tweak it a bit. Well, this seems to be a much better orbit. Uh, how about I do some delta V calculations after all? There's Drez. This is the first time I'm seeing Drez in, in a game like this. So... Why not? Let's see. Now, I'm just going to sum up the liquid fuel that I have. I know that 90 liquid fuel is 1 ton. So we've got 375 there. I've got 90 there. And 90 on the other side. I don't have any in this tank. Right? So 555. And I'll divide that by 90. So I've got 6 tons. What's the mass of this vehicle? 21.8. So 21.87 divided by 21.87 minus the fuel that I have. It's not great.
and then completing the rocket equation I get 2600 delta V now if we have fuel left over in our lander stage that changes things that would be added to the sum but right now we've got 2600 delta V 2300 after this well 2200 after this burn hmm. Yeah, I, I don't like the margins on that. I don't know how much it takes to get back to Kerbin. So I'm just going to do it this way. Get a roughly circular orbit around 120 kilometers. It took us about 2,100 to transfer to Drez. So I'm going to make the assumption it's about the same back. And then we have to do maneuvering within the Kerbal system. Kerbin system. Okay, where is Drez now? Ah, oh, there it is. I want to land somewhere slightly bright. Probably around, I don't know. I, I can't really tell whether this is even ground or not. I, I'm going to assume most of Drez is relatively even, sort of like Duna-ish in terms of terrain. And there's no particular place where I go, okay, I really want to plot for a landing here. I, I, well, I don't need to plot right now. I need to separate first. Okay, separation check. Fuel is good. I think that's the only thing I need to check, right? Hmm. Oh, I do have uh, solar panels. Why didn't I think about that? Okay, well, let's extend panels. Sheesh. I did put solar panels. Uh, I was being silly. Probably don't strictly need solar panels right now, but... Hey. Alright, uh, though I don't have any panels on the lander stage, I don't think. So that's a flaw. Lighting effects. Alright, Durlin Kerman, are you ready? You've got a lot of work ahead of you. Um, I don't see why not. Use RCS to push us away. Alright, now we can plot for landing. Let me make sure I know which way around we're going. And when I get back up into orbit, I'll need to remember to pay attention to that as well. Now, I want to make a little bit of inclination. Okay, that's not working out well. Let's just do that first, then make a little bit of inclination. Right. Yeah, that looks like we're going to be going around some sunny bits. And on the way up we can make an inclination change in order to get back to our rendezvous. Alright. Uh, turn off RCS, we don't need it right now. We're a uh, good distance away from our buddy over there. Let's time warp to our maneuver node. And make the burn for the surface. Uh, activating. Yeah. Uh. Oh no, that other thing gets called debris? Uh. Okay, well. Can we. Alright, and uh, so we'll be able to set it as target. Good. Um. Ah, sheesh. Sometimes. Alright, so, uh, I'm gonna have to remember that. But now let's, let's not 
focus on the Brie, let's just focus on ourselves. Be completely self-centered about it. And just before I forget, landing gear down. And let's see where we are at. Are we close? No, still high. Can we do temperature experiments? No. Well, let's get close then. Okay, well, I'm not seeing close yet. Let's orient. Some of these bodies don't seem to be to have a near said body. Okay, let's try it. No, still high. Temperature. Nope. Barometer. Nope. Oh well. We'll wait till we get to the surface then. I, I was actually hoping to get a crew report near near Drez, but maybe we'll just check it on the way up. On the way down is a little bit sketchier. Um you know, this area looks a little bit flatter than right there. Wow, this looks like quite a mound. Well, uh, no, it's the, it's the curvature of the planet that's really getting me. I, I know, I, I don't think this is really going to be that steep or anything. It's just the orientation of myself with respect to the curvature of the planet that gives sort of an illusion to things. That was very similar to what happened with Gilly. Going to look forward to hear Derlin Kerman's observations once he gets to the surface. I'm just gonna check out a GUI experiment here to see. Okay, so we are in space near Drez. Uh, I don't know if the gravity will actually pull Derlin Kerman off at this point. I'm gonna save the GUI experiment for the surface address, though. Yeah, I think uh, down here the gravity might be just a little... Well, I don't know. Does gravity really... Yeah, acceleration due to gravity should affect him. Okay, final descent mode. We still look pretty high, though. Let me uh, check IVA. Yeah, we're, we're probably landing close to sea level. Okay. Actually, uh, Drez has some healthy, healthy gravity to it. You can see my acceleration down, down growing like that. So, so not a bad acceleration to this. Uh, not a bad amount of gravity here. And certainly no ghillie on that respect. As usual, it's a case of hunting for the shadow. Whoa. And making sure I keep myself balanced. Of course, we're, we're a bit further away from the sun right now, so can't really expect too much of a shadow. Actually, I'm seeing a lot, I mean, visually this is actually, oh, there it is. It's very confusing. What just happened? Oh, I must have landed. Aha. Okay, good. Bit of a slope, but alright. Alright, Derlin Kerman on the surface of Drez. My first time on Drez, and yeah, let's do our thing. Observe Materials Bay. Material study from Drez surface. As the sample process, as the samples process, the computer asks if it can sing you a song while it works. Apparently it's about a flower of some kind. Uh-oh. 
Okay, uh, <laughs> keep data. Okay, we got a temperature reading. Good. How about a seismic reading? Uh, seismically inactive. Okay, 160 science. Very good. And barometer. Oh, really? I have the darndest time with the barometers, I tell you. Oh, and uh, goo reading. Observe the goo. Alright, crew, crew report. We need more flavor text. Of course, uh, there is a crowdsourced addition to the flavor text. Um, obviously, this is stock, so I didn't add it. But you can add more flavor text to the whole thing. It's not that hard. But I think it's time to EVA Derlin Kerman and have him do his thing. Right. And just plop down. That's fine. It's just like Minmus. Okay. Yes. That's, that's very picture, picturesque right there. Alright. Uh, do your business first. Uh, take the surface sample. You find traces of a number of elements likely deposited here by impacts over time. Maybe it would be good for mining. 240 science. EVA report. When you look closely at the ground, you can see there are many different types of deposits mixed together. Again, looks promising to establish a mining base. Let's plant a flag. Uh, reverse Kerbal flag, okay. Alright, so Derlin. On Drez. Okay, we should start mining immediately. Yes, give those corporations a reason to help out with this whole space exploration venture. Okay, we are all good. And I think so. I hope I didn't forget one of, one of them. Oh, straight up, good. And board. Okay, I think we're we're all done, right? I think I have enough time to get him back up at least. I don't know how long the docking will take. We better get on it. Uh, the SAS electric charge thing, yeah. So, yeah, this is Drez. Welcome. Let's get out of here. Oh, uh, well, actually, hold on. Let me not get ahead of myself. I seem to recall something about going in the right direction and everything. But I can't see myself and the object. You know what? That's bloody close enough. Let me just uh, do a token time warp. Okay, that direction. So it's going to be heading south. Yeah, this is south. The target marker is north, but I probably shouldn't do that. Yeah. Or, and we're so close to the pole though. Uh, where are we? We're here. Uh, should I go south? Yeah, I think so. You know what? Let me let me time warp a little bit more. Let it pass a little bit further. Yeah, I think we're getting going south. All right. Whew. Okay, let's do that then. Yep. That's not right. Um, oh, shoot. 
Right. Uh, no. That. Really, honestly. Sometimes. Yeah, and I wanted to zoom out all the way just to delay me further. And. Debris. Debris. Yeah. Set us target. Okay. What I want to do is like that. Like that. Don't try this at home, kids. Um, like that. I think I've done too much. <laughs> uh, I've got a minute left. Okay, let me do something akin to that. This might not be well suited to Val after all. So I'm going to replot now. I don't think this would have enough juice for Val. The relative velocity, if I try and make this one, will not be very friendly. Let's try for a tight orbit, and then adjust on the ascending node. I can use the um, RCS to do quite a lot. So that's what I'm hoping for. Could probably EVA Durlin and do near Drez, but this is neither the time. But this is the place, but it's not the time. Oh, that shouldn't be too bad. But 200 Delta V, I don't think I have it. Let me point in the right direction and wait. Okay, so I'm gonna test out how much Delta V I might get from monopropellant. Uh, oh, that's not bad. Okay, so let's burn the rest of the fuel and then uh, deal with the monopropellant. And actually, I'll use the mod propellant for the rest. Let's uh, do some fine tuning to get us close to a maneuver, uh, close to a rendezvous with the stage for return home. Doesn't look like we'll have any fuel left in this stage in order to help us out there, though. Shame one, uh, one. Uh, comment suggested putting a docking port instead of the decoupler at the bottom of the capsule and I think that would have been a good idea here that would have saved weight I could actually dump the lander stage and just attach the capsule to the other part though I would still have to have used some RCS put some RCS ports and RCS fuel in the capsule the capsule does have 10 RCS fuel but I don't know if that'd be enough to do the docking
Okay, well, 3.7 is fine. Derlin looks worried. Is this the first time that he's looked worried? Uh, makes me a bit worried. Now, uh, I need to ship, otherwise I don't know where I'm, where I'm going to meet up there. I hope we can get a target reading. Okay, good. So we can sort of target debris. Not quite, though. I'm hoping there's a minimal amount of difference between the two vehicles by the time I get here, otherwise I have a lot of burning to do. Okay, and about one minute away. Looks like we do have a lot to do. Let me just get rid of the rest of my... Ah, oh, this last bit of fuel is really helpful. Where is the target? Apparently not in this plane. Ah, oh, there it is. Okay. Um. Hmm. Well, it says we'll get within 3.3 .3 of it, so let's wait. I'm going to use RCS to dump the rest of the velocity. And then point towards the target and use some thrust. Too much, but from now on we're using RCS. And we need to control from here. Now we can't turn the other portion to face us because we don't have anybody inside. So I'm going to have to do it the. Oh, I need to remember to get rid of RCS whenever possible. Uh, do it the old fashioned way, which is try and match planes. Okay. So here I'm visualizing a plane that's going out from this docking port. I hope this is the right end, is it? Uh no it's not. Okay, so I've I've wrong plane. Alright. Mm -hmm. So this way and try and go like that and maybe a little bit more like there. Uh, that won't be too bad. All right. At least it's not like tumbling or anything. If it was tumbling, this this would have been bad. Of course, if I do it wrong, it could start tumbling, and that is something I want to avoid at all costs. Now, let's see, set the docking part of the port as target.
Okay. Okay. Hmm. Oh, shoot. I've knocked it. Oh, no, I've done it. should do more docking practice, shouldn't I? Okay. Um. Though it's really hard to see stuff too. And that thing is turning around at a very quick rate. I don't think I can dock with that. <laughs> Wait. Me focusing on it stopped it from spinning? Sure doesn't seem to be spinning right now. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. I should have done that earlier. Jeez. I didn't think about that. Obviously. Let's try and do this right this time. That's how I should have done it the first time around. Oh, wow. Uh, SAS on now. Uh, I, 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 I think I action grouped these, but I forgot which action group I put them on. I action grouped a bunch of stuff. Probably action group one, but I think I also action grouped some things that, like, the docking ports, so... Uh, all right. Well, I'm spent. Um, but I think I think I have enough in me to try and get. Well, yeah, I, I don't want to make any mistakes when it comes to getting him back home. So let let me let me leave that for another episode. I think all this docking shenanigans has taken it out of me. So. I'll, I'll leave it at this, and so tune in next time to see whether I can get, get, what's his name, Durlin, get Durlin Kerman back to the surface of Kerman safely. Alright, so thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please do press like. If you have any comments or questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.